Hi friends, thank you for joining me here today. My name is Chai and welcome to my channel. My goal is to empower you to shine your unique light into the world. With that said, let's get started. Yes, hi, thanks guys for joining me here. I have a very beautiful, beautiful video for you guys today. You get you guys get a duo video because this is a collab. Okay, so first off, I would like to thank all of my viewers and subscribers for joining me here today, right, joining with me here. <laughs> and as you can see, this is a collab video, okay, with a wonderful multi-talented friend and fellow diviner of mine. Her name is Heather and her channel name is Silver Star Priestess. She is absolutely groundbreaking when it comes to the uh, esoteric and spiritual knowledge. So guys, once you are done here, I do implore you to dive deeper and grab your messages there at Heather's channel. I'll link everything down below. Um, now, if you guys are coming from Heather's channel, I'd like to really welcome and thank you so much for joining me here today. I really appreciate you guys so much, especially for taking the time to actually visit my channel okay um so the main topic here is what is the landscape of your mind your ink blots okay so my side of the collab is to actually help um help you paint a picture of your mind's landscape okay so we can actually really melt map out mill map out what is there and what has it um, what really made it so, okay? So once you have that picture in mind, you can actually go ahead and link that up with Heather's uh, Heather's video where she's actually going to dive deeper into your subconscious mind and see what messages um, it has for you. And so, you know, hopefully, you know, our goal is to make sure that it will, you know, somehow help you in unlocking those secret chambers to your, um, you know, yearning questions about certain things, right? So, you know, the thing is, Oh, and also today, I almost forgot, I will not be doing the next scene as the full frontal view because it is pretty standard here. It's very, very simple. One, two, three, and four. What I do recommend is for you to pause the video and still get into a neutral vibe before you pick your pile from the description box down below. Once you pick your pile, I will reveal the ink blot that you have chosen from your pile. So with that said, I will see you at your timestamps. Hi guys, if you picked out this timestamp, it is for group number one. Yay, group number one. Thank you for joining me here. So again, this is a collab video, right? Uh, with Heather at Silver Star Pieces' channel. But the thing is, my topic is what is the landscape of your mind, your ink blots, right? So before we start, I do have two things to mention here. I'm super excited to let you know that this, like I said, it's a very, it's a collab video with the multi-talented diviner, Silver Star Pieces, right? We did a collab video uh, on the uh, Egyptian past lives and that was such a success. So we thought, why not dive deeper and do one where we actually really enjoy um, diving deeper into, uh, you know, thinking about psychology and where psychology meets spirituality. So, you know, after this, uh, watching this video, I do recommend for you guys to head on out and find out what messages your subconscious mind has for you at Silver Star Priestess's channel. And I will link that video down in the description down below. Uh, just a quick disclaimer that I'm not here to diagnose anything, nor am I a medical professional in this field. So with that said, uh, this reading is just for fun. And it's also to potentially show you, you know, what your mind may look like if I were to paint a picture of your mind for you, right? And as always, my creative readings are for your spiritual growth and to help you empower yourself, okay? So keep that in mind. And this is a general reading. So only what take you take you to take what you resonate with right and always go with your gut feeling and if you don't resonate with any of the um messages that you see here you're more than welcome to pick another pile okay so with that said let's get started all right i'm so excited because group one as i promised i did make an ink blot image for you guys and this is what you guys got okay before we pull this up open so let's see here one two three yay <laughs> So this is your ink blot group number one. Isn't that interesting? I literally was shook when this came out because I, I'm i not a painter nor am I like really good with like physical art like this. Like I'm, I'm okay with telling stories and things like that. I think that I'm an artist in that way, but this actually came out pretty good group one. You guys are awesome. So I literally, when I first saw this, the first immediate thing I saw was actually the arrow, right? And that's amazing how the arrow was formed. Um, but what it, you can see here, okay, group one, are all the different beautiful, it looks like a, the brain, right? Like the sketch of a brain on the outside, like how the, the little grooves and stuff is around it. And then you've got this arrow that it's empty, right? So to me, in my interpretation of your ink blot here that we can see right now, um, 
is that I feel like you guys are pretty fair. You guys are very, very fair in terms of bringing things um, that others may not be able to see because the arrow is empty. You see the arrow is white and the, the arrow actually is part of the connection of what is surrounding the actual, um, you know, image or butterfly. It looks like a butterfly, right? Very transformational, very um, elevated, right? And they're very equal too. Like a lot of these parts are pretty equal, right? So you guys have, you believe in equal rights for sure. That's what I picked up. And you guys try to stand in the middle of each position in a neutral spot because that arrow is a white uh, blank spot there. So you guys try to actually see uh, both sides of the story before you make any judgment is what I picked up, okay? So let's put this aside and we'll kind of gradually bring it in to kind of tie in with the uh, with the scenario that I see here, all right? So with that said, group one, are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay, so you have got, wow, okay, so you've got the light body. Look at all the beautiful colors here. So it says independent brings comfort, past restrictions, ancestral healing. Wow. Okay, already heavy. <laughs> You guys come in clutch for sure. Really heavy energies already, huh? So, okay, group one, what else do you guys have here? Garden, something lovely will grow from this, okay? And then you've got the protection guardian. Uh, it says drop your shields. I'll put that here. You've got the throat chakra. Why am I not surprised, right? Change, number five, you guys stand in the middle and speak your truth but you also try to see the truth, right? Um, orca whale adventure. I'll read that later for you guys. That's your spirit animal here. Um, remember the title is, uh, what is the landscape of your mind? Your ink blots, right? You just saw your ink blots just now. Now this says wishing well, number 48. Now again, per my video, every single time you see any numbers, feel free to look that up on your own. And then you've got 10 of Raphael, right? This is very similar to the, I think the 10 of cups. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Group number one, you've got the Kitsune, right? I will show you whom to trust. Number two. Oof. That is, that's pretty, pretty strong. Your mind. Number 17, the lookout. As I said, your mind is so strong. You've got this fiery energy here, right? But it's the lookout. So we'll see what that means. Um, I know exactly what that means already, but we'll we'll tie everything together. Number 34, entrapment. All right, like I said, very heavy energies here. I'm going to actually put this right over here where I can actually see all of the cards, okay? So per usual, my video, uh, like I said, I'm not the fastest diviner, but I'm very honest, so I'll tell you what I see here. And again, you know, keep in mind that this is just for fun and to also for your spiritual, spiritual growth, right? So I'll see you in a couple seconds. All right, group number one. Immediately, I'm very drawn to this really fun looking card, right? The Orca Whale. Um, and it says adventure here, okay? So, you know, where do I begin? Like, I, <laughs> you guys are so amazing. I am so drawn to this Orca Whale because, um, you know, because of this word adventure. So immediately, I can already tell that the landscape of your mind is one of great elements in landscape, okay? So I can sense that your mind is filled with memories that others would say it's pretty adventurous, right? Um, now take what you resonate with. If you don't resonate with that, maybe this is not your pile. Um, but again, so if I were to paint a picture to start, um, I would say that your mind will have a, um, a large body of water for sure, right? Because I see water here in the lookout card and the orca wheel, and then I see the blue from the throat chakra, right? Um, so with that, your main, your main foundation is, is the setting is, is in water. It's a water filled world, right? Because you also have the wishing well and that holds water as well. So, um... I feel like you guys resonate with water quite a bit and there's this feeling of playfulness and big goals and dreams that you guys have um mostly because you know because of the wishing well card so it also corresponds to your emotions okay so that leads me to sense that you actually go off of your emotions while making most of your decisions or at least that's what you used to do in the past if not now okay but the thing about that is 
guys, if you are not balanced, then you will find that some of your emotionally based decisions can come with really, really bad repercussions, okay? So because I do see the lookout card here and it really tells me that. So, um, you know, just be mindful. If you are still operating under high emotions and stuff, just, just set yourself back into a neutral zone before you make that really important decision, okay? Um, so number 17, the lookout. So for me, it's all about, you know, that battle lurking around the corner, right? It, see, you see as in the card, there's a gentleman who is on the lookout post here, and he is looking around to see if there's a way out of this really serious predicament, because remember, he's surrounded by fire, right? Um, but the thing is, you can see that your ship is already on fire. So this really gives me that clue that most of the battles that happen around you is due to your own self-infliction, okay? I know this is kind of hard to take in, but it is what it is, right? Um, so it's highly probable that you may have had quite a temper in the past, right? A really, you, you may get angry really quickly or really upset really um, fast, right? So the thing is, since you were running on fumes with that kind of temper, um, some actions that you made were made really abruptly, okay? So if you don't resonate with this again, pick another pile, but this is what it says here. And you can actually feel that, you know, a water and fire, you know? <laughs> So what I'm sensing now is that if I were to paint a picture with this card, I would actually add to the body of water that you guys already have. I would add a really, um, I would say there are in your ocean, right? In the ocean of your mind, an actual ocean in your mind, right? Because this is about painting the landscape for you guys to see. I would say there are hidden volcanoes and visible volcanoes, okay? And I did watch a documentary about hidden volcanoes and volcanoes in the the bed, the seabed. So they do exist. Um, but this is also existing in your mind, right? So what I'm feeling is that it resides deep, 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 deep in the sea of your, your canvas, okay? And so in the ocean of your mind, these little volcanoes, I see some of them being already, or they've already erupted, right, from the past, but other ones are just waiting to erupt, right? That's what I feel and that's what I see. Um, but I have a feeling that you are now better, actually, better at um, handling your short temper because when I look at the rest of your cards here, it does show some really great emotional intelligence and maturity, okay? So I'm sensing that you have, over time, you have accumulated, uh, you know, a various accumulation of different experiences, right? Probably because of the, the word adventure on the orca whale card. And that's why I sense that. The thing is, when you're talking about orca whales, they really travel far ways. So most of their journeys are long and exhausting. So that tells me that it has been a long journey mentally for you guys. And orca whales are known for their commitment. So this also tells me that when you decide to do something, right, whether it's emotionally based or by way of like practicality thinking, right, you're very determined, okay? You you are very determined to reach your destination and your end goal, okay, group number one? So, and I can't help but notice the, you know, the crazy entrapment card, and it really makes me feel like um, the entrapment card and the protection guardian card and the spirit animal card, this, um, the the kitsune one so if i were to use those cards and paint some more things onto your your canvas your landscape um now keep in mind because you really resonate with water your landscape is underwater okay so just imagine your very own underwater landscape um with the little volcanoes that i told you about and the little hills that you have right because of your emotions and things like that um, but what I'm really drawn to picking up next is this card here, the garden card. And it says here, something lovely will grow from this, okay? So with the garden card, um, around your ocean floor, you have your beautiful plant life. And I see that abundantly. Like you guys have a lot of, um, you know, those corals and those plants. Those things are really abundant and beautiful in your ocean bed, right? Um, and that really does kind of reflect from this this uh, card here. So, like I said, it says here, something good can grow from your past hard experiences. So it's all about you taking the seeds that that you took from that battle that you went through, and then uh, uh, and taking those experiences and planning in a new wonderful 
um, seed into your soil, into your seabed, right? And this card is all about moving into bigger and better things. And sometimes you will have to leave certain things behind, okay? That's what I'm sensing. You will have to leave certain things in order to actually move into better ones, okay? And that's what my mind is wanting to speak really quickly with you guys. You guys really do have a really active throat chakra. Like, I really want to speak very fast. And I'm not a fast person, so it's like... <laughs> My mind is like, woo, you know, it's, it's, it's out of this world right now, but you know, grounding myself right now, I do sense that you guys talk really fast as well. <laughs> so, um, what else, what, what was I talking about? See, um, so, so yeah, so this, this tells me that, that, um, you know, parts of your oceanic landscape, um, there, there are some, you know, so because of what you went through, there are certain parts of your, your ocean bed that is very, it's very dried up, right? The plants are very dried up and, and certain parts of your ocean bed is very bare. There's nothing there, okay? But that's, that's you know, that's, that's only a certain part of your ocean. But there's the other side of your ocean where it's like really abundant and full of like oceanic life and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, but as you can see, uh, if you go further along, you will, you know, you will see the, that gorgeous seabed, right? Now, so what does that mean in correspondence to your mind? So you may have actually like spurts or moans of relapse and judgment, or it can sometimes make poor decisions, okay, with that bear and um, the volcano and things like that. But you always learn from it, okay, you guys? That's what I pick up from you guys, and that's what I love most about you guys. You learn from the things that the, those... Uh, things that you went through, right? You learn from them and you make better choices the next time around. That's what I'm sensing. Um, also, because of this ever-evolving mindset that you guys truly uh, have, that you guys actually were able to come out the victor and usually get what you want in the end. So, you know, we'll add that too. And we'll, that really makes that beautiful, you know, beautiful... Uh, additional layers to your attributes to your landscape right that's what i was looking for like the the word layers <laughs> i really want to talk about um the kitsune though because i feel like because I was, I was looking at the color scheme here and then i noticed the kitsune has very similar color scheme but a little more enriched okay so with that we're going to talk about the kitsune i will show you whom to trust okay so I love the idea of this magical majestic fox called the Kitsune. According to the Japanese culture, this fox is a very magical, very intelligent, very witty, and a very abundant fox, right? It is said that um, the wiser your Kitsune is, the more tails it has. So I'm not sure what the maximum capacity is to have or to how many tails it can grow, but I do know that from the Korean culture, they believe that the nine-tailed fox has nine tails. So I would say maybe that's the same, maybe the maximum is nine. <laughs> so that's what I feel, but take what you resonate with. Um, so with the fox, I feel like you guys are very quick-minded, right? Your thoughts and ideas come fairly effortlessly sometimes, and you're pretty wise and clever, okay? So no matter what your age is, group number one, you guys are really wise, and you guys know a lot more than um, you can see things. Because remember, if you if we take in your, you see how like if you take in your ink blot here, you guys are able to see both sides equally, and that's a skill that not a lot of people have. Okay, group number one. Yeah, because you guys always like. I feel like you know you can sense when someone is coming from a benevolent or a malicious angle, right? Um, this is due to your, your, your Kitsune essence, right? So to me, to add to that character of your landscape, I would say your oceanic flora will actually have pockets of caves, right? Pockets of caves, because why I say pockets? Because look at the space here, right? The arrow, that little space, pockets of caves all over your landscape. Um, what else do I sense? So what I'm picking up is that because look at it says I will show you whom to trust so there's some kind of like boundary or there's some kind of like you having to actually keep protected right and look at the shapes they're very similar <laughs> look at her face and her shape her ears they're very similar to your image here this is probably the image of the kitsune that I didn't 
No, because look at her eyes. Look at the eyes here, right? Very, wow, very indicative and very corresponding to this beautiful essence of the kitsune. So with that, I feel like there are, um, maybe in the past you have had predators, so like predators, right? <laughs> Trying to like lure you into doing something that you, maybe you didn't want to do, things like that. That's what I'm sensing. Um, but we were talking about pockets of caves where you can actually hide away from those predators, right? So what I also pick up is, um, I picked up that you guys have a lot of emotional adventures, right? That in the past, and I'm going to put this down so that I can move forward with the next card. But the next card that I am sensing is actually, actually, let me put this here and then I'm going to pick up the light body. Okay. So, oh, whew. all right. So this card is about past restrictions and you coming into a full circle of standing in your own power. And that's why I felt like I needed to pick up this card after, you know, talking about this Kitsune here, you know, having to have set boundaries and stuff. Um, but the thing is, this card is about you owning your power, right? You becoming self-reliant, uh, you becoming very independent, okay? So in, in uh, addition to this energy, uh, actually not addition, but in correspondence to the entrapment card, right? Because this is talking about releasing yourself from that entrapment, that restriction, okay? So I feel that that controlled environment that you were in, right? Um, you were able to actually transcend and transform, right? You utilize your kitsune ability to actually get yourself out of that situation because, you know, it really talks about you were able to overcome that sense of um, disempowerment, right? And you really stood strong. You guys are very strong because you've got the garden card where it says something lovely will grow from this. You didn't allow that turmoil, right? That turmoil to take you down. No way. Yeah. I feel like, you know, a lot of that journey had to do with your, your throat chakra where you were, you know, maybe you weren't allowed to speak your mind or um, maybe you did speak your mind and people were afraid that you were going to make changes into the world in ways that they were not ready for. So then they try to put you down in your light, right? So that's about the light body with the throat chakra. Now with this throat chakra card, um, you finally spoke up right to those that were really like either oppressing you or suppressing you because you see you have this really crazy number five crazy number five i'm a number 55 so i feel like you know i'm i'm one of those numbers too so number five is the throat chakra right so remember this is a general reading so take what you resonate with but the thing is with the throat chakra card it also means that in your mind there are lots of um words and lots of sounds that you hear in your thoughts okay the um the thing is i sense that your mind it's a very busy mind it can also mean that um with that busy mind you may get one bad seed like with every single bunch right when there's always that one bad apple or one bad thought so just be mindful about that one bad thought because remember just like that garden right see that garden garden card that you have any little seed that you allow, and if you're not making sure that those seeds are weeds, right, that can grow in your garden without you realizing, and they spread like wildfire, okay? They do, they spread, because if you take this card with the lookout and the garden card, the garden card, if you allow this the bad seed to grow in your garden, it'll spread like just, just like this, this fire on this boat, right? Wildfire, okay? So be very mindful about that, because you guys are meant to have good things, right? So don't let that um, that essence of restriction or entrapment or negative thought patterns to, to bring you down, okay? That's what I really want you to uh, keep in mind, all right? And make sure you don't let that happen. Um, so when it comes to the self, I honestly believe that it's a lot harder, right? For, for, your, for anybody to see themselves, right? So basically... Um, I'm actually really impressed at the way uh, that you guys handle looking at yourself because self-introspection and self-growth really shows great character and it should be commended for that. You should be commended for that, okay? So 
I, like I said, I'm very impressed uh, with anybody who is able to do that, right? To, who is able to actually self-introspect and grow from their mistakes rather than the ones who actually, you know, uh, that are very super intelligent but has very little capacity to even realize the things about themselves that also needs work, right? So a person who makes a lot of mistakes and learn from them, I actually have more respect for those people than anybody of any prestigious, prestigious status and very in, a great intelligence that does not learn from their mistakes. Do you get what I'm saying? Like that's the thing that people need to realize is that we are placing value in things that that is the opposite. Like sometimes, I'm not saying all, right? There are people that do see things the way that you do because you did pick out this beautiful um ink blot here that's very equal minded and things like that but anyway so i'm going on a rant with this card and we're going to be here forever if i do <laughs> so with that i really do want to talk about the wishing well okay so now <laughs> so here i see that you went through a past relationship right because i do see that i feel that a lot and um whether it's a romantic one or not a romantic one these past experiences left you yearning for or desire for more from the people around you, okay? That's why you have this wishing well here. Um, so to me, I feel like I do sense that you do want a happy family because of that card. Where's that card? Yeah, the Ten of Raphael, you see? So for me, I feel like you, your wishing well and your wish is to actually have that beautiful family, happy family, happy, ha and family can come in many different forms. Like you can have your biological family or you can have your chosen family, the family that you choose to be with, right? And they choose you. So with that, I feel like you do have that wishing well and that desire to have that, okay? So when we're talking about the Ten of Raphael, um, this is a really great sign that your mind is filled with positive desires and positive thoughts. So despite all of that um, turmoil and the trials and tribulations that you went through, you still have a huge amount of hope and a huge amount of desires, right, for yourself and, and a lot of good things for yourself. So um, if I were to add that to your landscape, I see, um, wow, so beautiful, because when I see this, and I see this rainbow here. This reminds me of the sun and this, this rainbow. So after the storm, right, in your ocean, I do see um, a really beautiful, like, spurts of, it, like, every so often within your your ocean bed, I see sun rays or, like, um, I see the landscape being penetrated by the sun's rays, okay? And it's piercing from above into your ocean. And wow, it's so beautiful. And when I look around, I see, you know, um, they're actually sporadically placed throughout your, your seabed with those beautiful sun rays, right? And when it hits the beautiful reflective blue boulders that I see, because I did sense earlier that you guys have um, beautiful um, boulders in your in your landscape, so with that the rainbows you can actually see rainbows shooting from those stones inside your on your your seabed right and um with that i feel like with the the beautiful essence of this beautiful hope and stuff because it says here drop your shields right so the last card here is all about not holding yourself back okay it's about you feeling like you needed uh you know dim your light in fear of overstepping anyone else's boundaries or stuff like that um yes respect other people's boundaries that's very important just like you want uh, yours to be respected but don't ever dim your light for somebody else just because they're insecure okay this is not the time to actually downplay your talents guys group number one i'm sensing that you guys maybe in the past you guys did that a lot okay to kind of keep balance because you guys are all about that that wonderful balance and sometimes having that kind of mindset can also dim it can also uh, in turn make you kind of get into a habit of of dimming your own light so that there's balance and peace between the two sides and that's not something that you want to do okay um yeah so what else do i sense here yeah yep yeah. so okay so what i'm sensing is this reading is to show you how magnificent you guys are okay group number one um I mean, think about it. You, this reading here, you are just tapping into the tip of the iceberg with the tip of the ocean floor for you guys, right? Your mind is 
it's just a glimpse of your own brilliance because remember you're not just your mind your mind body and soul so me looking at the landscape of your mind is already this great imagine your whole body your whole essence your whole soul okay i really hope that you've enjoyed this reading guys um now don't forget this is a collab video and heather is going to actually dive deeper into your subconscious mind and truly help you capture that you know, maybe find that key to possibly unlocking that door to your secret chamber to really understand your subconscious, right? But before you do, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like this reading. If you haven't already, come come join our amazing and creative family here where I do interesting and empowering pick a cards for you guys. And if you guys are coming from Heather's channel, I want to thank you guys so much. And I want to thank all my viewers as usual. I love you guys so much, right? Um, so again, you know, feel free to make a comment down below and um, take care of yourself. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hi guys, have you picked out this time stamp? It is for group number two. Yay, group number two. So again, what is the landscape of your mind? Your ink blots, right? So before we start, I do have two things to mention here, right? I am super excited to let you know if you didn't watch the uh, intro, this is a collab video with the multi-talented diviner Silver Star Priestess. Uh, we did a collab a while back on the Egyptian timelines and that was such a success for us. So we thought, why not dive deeper and do one where psychology meets spirituality, right? So after watching this video of mine, you can actually head on over to... Um, to Heather's uh, channel, uh, the Silver Star Priestess, right? She'll dive deeper into your what your subconscious mind has to say. Um, and also, if you are coming from Heather's channel, I really want to thank you so much for taking the time to come over here and watch my video as well. I really appreciate you guys. Um, again, also a quick disclaimer, okay? I am not a doctor of any kind, so don't take this professional, uh, don't take this as a professional analysis or diagnosis. Uh, this creative reading is just for fun and it is also to potentially show you, you know, what your mind may look like if I were to paint a picture of your mind for you guys, okay? So as always, my creative readings are for your spiritual growth and to help you empower yourself, uh, you know, in order for you to actually shine your unique light, okay? So um, with that, it is a general reading, so take what you resonate with. If you don't resonate with something uh, or any of it, um, you're more than welcome to pick another pie, okay? So with that, we're, we'll get started. I did say that I did create a, um, a, a, a an ink blot <laughs> picture for you guys for each pile. So uh, number one was so amazing. I know that you guys also have an, uh, an amazing ink blot as well, and I will interpret it for you guys. Okay, so stay right there. It's right over here. Ready? One, two, three. All right. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So <laughs> you must be thinking like, what the heck is this child? Like, why is this so simple formed, right? Well, that's the thing, like from what I can gather that is that you guys are very, you guys, oh, what can I say? You guys are very simple to love. You can love very simply. You don't really need a lot to make your, you happy. It doesn't take a lot to make you happy. And that's the great thing about you guys, right? You guys are able to actually stay uh, in alignment a lot of the times, okay? Um, you have your, it's almost like you have your wings spread out so that you can actually balance like how a bird would be able to balance itself. Now, the thing is, I was guided from Spirit to actually uh, remind me to turn it upside down with you guys. So I didn't do that for number one because I was not guided to do that. But for you guys, you guys can actually see things from a different perspective as well. Because if I do this, right? See how amazing you guys are? You're able to stand firmly in your conviction. In, in, it's almost like when you decide to do something, nothing will stop you, group number two. That's what I'm sensing. This is why Spirit said, turn it upside down. And that's what I'm doing now. These are like legs, you know, fixated onto the ground and really grounding yourself. You're good with grounding, okay? Um... I mean, I don't know how it's going to correlate to the other, to this reading here. This is your reading pile too, but you know, we'll, I'll bring this back into the reading when we go through your cards, but let's see if, uh, well, you know, if the assessment is correct or not. But now what I'm also sensing though, is that it also looks like a person without a head. So sometimes when you are off alignment, you can, oh, you can stay stuck in that position for a really long time. So I don't know. That's just it, what came to mind. So we'll see if that correlates to what the cards come out. So let's see, group number two. 
So you have energy attachments. Wow. <laughs> it's like right away, huh? I think this one is very similar to the devil card. So there's some kind of energy that, you know, you may have to release too. Oh, wow. Okay, so you've got wings. You never needed to, those wings to fly. Number eight. So any numbers, number 13 on that one and number eight on this one, okay? So any number that you do see here, per my usual, per usual my video, you can go ahead and uh, take it upon yourself to look that up. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this card. So it says here, the fairy bee, my life is sweet, number six, all right? But she says, my life is sweet, but why does her gaze look like she's so upset? <laughs> All right, so will, wisdom, and mind. Okay. And then you've got the air guardian. Shift your perception. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm starting to see a little bit more of what your landscape will look like, but we'll, I'm going to take a couple of minutes per usual. So raven shaman. Okay. Should I put that here? It's a pretty big card. And it says listening number 53 and you see how the elephant is looking down and allowing this bird to sing its song right wow that it also can talk about um being more a little more understanding of the little things that people have to say too I, that's my interpretation of this card but mm, we'll see actually we'll put this here where the green is you have a lot of greens here all right so uh Wow. Okay. Now I get it. So family and tribe number 20. All right. So we'll put this here because I know that card very well. Four of Raphael. This is the same as the four of cups. Okay. In the general tarot, the Rider weight deck. And then you've got balance number 14. So I'll put that right next to the number 13. All right. So progression number four, because uh, numerology, you have to reduce that down to a single number. Uh, one plus three is four, one plus four is five, th uh, four or five, see? So with that, I'm gonna take a couple minutes per usual. I'm not the fastest diviner, but I am a very honest diviner. I'll tell you what I see here, okay? So again, the topic is what is the landscape of your mind, your ink blots? I'll see you in a couple of seconds. All right, group number two. Wow, I really am so drawn to this spirit animal here since i started with the spirit animal in the other pile i will do the same for you guys now just to let you know uh, what i'm about to define is something that was guided okay it's guided for me to say and mention these things so don't take it personal if i mention some things that you may not really like right uh, but because of the things that i see in your spread um I really, it, it really actually, the thing is, when I looked at your spread, I it took me down a crazy, dark, 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 dark rabbit hole, okay? <laughs> Group number two, all right? The reason why I say this too is because when you look at, when you look at your, your, um, <laughs> when you look at your ink blot, right? You can see how it just keeps going down, right? Just constantly going down like a rabbit hole. Now, that can be a bad thing or it can be a good thing, depending on how you see things, right? And what the what that pertains. Now, with the Raven card, it is to clarify, right? The darker nature to you, okay? You may be able to see scary things because shamans can really see things, right? You may have a lot of spiritual gifts that, that you are, may or may not be aware of already. Uh, but with the shaman card, I do sense that maybe in the past or growing up or even now you may sense like you feel the darker entities around you when they are around you. You can feel it. You can see it. You can hear it. Those things, right? Okay. So with that, I just want to let you guys know that you guys can protect yourself uh, through, uh, you know, either doing um, certain rituals or just even in your mind, just uh, praying for Archangel Michael to protect you, you're safe regardless because you guys have a lot of, I feel like you guys are, even though you are that beautiful, big, uh, shining bright light, then and then entities can attach you because you got that en energy attachment card. That doesn't mean that they can easily come to you. It just, they see you and they want to attach to you. And sometimes maybe when you're not in alignment or maybe when you're really in low vibration is when they can attach to you. Do you get what I'm saying? Um... I notice that your mind will immediately pick up on the shadow aspects uh, from other people first before you see the lighter aspect of them, okay? Because of the darker energies that I do see here. So your mind is actually really ready to go on green when it comes to finding people's flaws, you know, people's shortcomings, right? If you guys are like that, you know, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with you guys. It's just the way that you guys were made, right? Um, 
Uh, what else do I see? I, uh, yeah, so they're telling me that it's something that is built within your genetics, but it can also be a karmic trauma resonance, right? Uh, a trauma that actually runs in the family, in the family lineage, because I do see the uh, the family and tribe card here. So this tells me that this could be some shadow aspects that you guys have passed down from generation to generations, um, and also aspects that are... Um, you know, some, some spiritual aspects as well, not just shadow stuff, but like more of like your spiritual gifts that were passed down uh, in addition to the shadow things that you have picked up from the family lineage. Um, well, actually, let me talk about that family tribe now because I feel like these two cards really do coincide very well. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. See, this is amazing. I didn't realize that this these two people, these two people, and this kind of represents the two people. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks, and look at the little cave thing. I swear to God, I did not know this, okay? So look at the little holes, and look at the hole here. This, this is why I really love spirit, and I love divining for you guys, because I really, these validations and confirmations really show that magic is real, okay, guys? Magic and, and spiritual gifts are real. Um, so I don't know why I feel like I needed to say that to you guys for some reason. Maybe there's a, some people in this group really don't really want to believe that these things are real. I don't know. Maybe just, just keep an open mind. Okay. Family and tribe number two, because when you reduce it down, it's two. And then you are group number two. All right. So, um, <laughs> what else do I sense? Yeah. So back to this card here, I feel like. Oh, sorry, my leg is itchy. So, yeah. So basically, you may have had a lot of shadow workers in your ancestral line, and they may have had to actually truly shed and heal a lot of the darker aspects in life. Um, a lot. I sense a lot of tragedy, okay? When I took a, a deep breath just now. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, <laughs> so when I took a deep breath, I felt like I needed to burp, <laughs> right? But the thing is, when I took a deep breath, I did feel like you guys have a lot of tragedy in your lineage for some reason. Um, and maybe also you see a lot of death going around in the family in the past, right? And this is not your fault, okay? Nor should you feel like that, you know, anything is wrong with you, okay? You are just built to see these darker aspects of life, um, you know, and a lot sooner than most people in general, okay? So you know that you're okay and you're safe. Um, but the thing is what spirit is guiding me to say is that you guys are like a sponge when it comes to energy. So just be aware of what you allow yourself to be around, what a lot, what you allow to be around you. Okay. You are a magnet group number two. You really are. Look at, oh my gosh, look at the, see, that's the thing. This is pretend this is you and this is your, your magnetic field. Just you know, shining out, kind of calling like like an antenna, right? Because when I put it right side up where it's supposed to be, because number two, I made sure that I know which one is upside down, right? So it's like an antenna. You guys are, wow, <laughs> another synchronicity. That's crazy. So yeah, you guys are truly are like antennas, right? Look at the two totem poles. Look at the synchronicities in the picture that has come out. I I swear, this is amazing. I'm impressed. Okay, so so back to what I'm seeing here. Like I said, you guys are sponges. So be careful with who you allow to be around you, right? Set that boundary. If you don't like someone talking crap, tell them, hey, I don't like hearing about this crap. Like, let's talk about something better, right? That's so funny. Um, okay, so I'm being told, uh, I just heard, go pick up that death card. I'm like, what death card? It's not a death card, but maybe it is a death card, right? maybe but i feel like this is more like the devil's card devil's energy attachment right so energy attachment this card speaks of being tied down okay with negative influences and self-sabotaging habits right so if you do find that you may have these patterns just know that you have the ability to actually break out of that cycle group number two okay keep that in mind you guys are very capable all right so if I were to build your landscape, right, because this is a reading for, you know, what your landscape, your mind's landscape looks like. So with this, um, 
let's see with this card actually the raven shaman card i see a beautiful tribal kind of village right but the village is not on land it's a floating village in the sky because of you have a lot of birds and wings information here so it really talks about and then you have i believe you have yeah you did have the air guardian i remember seeing the air guardian in your group so yeah so Okay, so the air garden with the wings here, and then you've got the wings card. It really does talk in the, the floating notes here, the floating um, uh, music notes. So this really tells me that your world, your mind, your landscape, the landscape of your mind is not on the ground. It is actually up in the air, all right? Um, yeah, because I, I do, I mean, to back up this notion, like I said, it has like this airy feeling to your spread, right? Your spread has a lot of wings information, a lot of air with that air guardian card too. So immediately I do see that they're, the landscape is off the ground, right? Um, but the thing is what they're telling me is that there is some kind of tethering. Um, even though it is off the ground, there is some kind of tethering. You're not too far off the ground, right? Because of the energy attachments. And this is not because you're not capable of having a world off the ground, um, high, high up. Um, it is because this energy just kind of pulls you down, okay? What does that tell you? What does that tell you when I say that? It, it really tells you that just like this, I pretend this is a spaceship, and this is the tethering here, right? I'm downloading right now. I'm really downloading all of this information. This is this spaceship is supposed to go off into you know the uh, the you know universe and and really explore. But this tethering is pulling you down. And sometimes maybe the tethering is family. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm just being guided to say that for some reason. But that doesn't mean that you have to throw away your family. It just means that. Sometimes you just have to disconnect mentally in terms of like making sure that you, yeah, that's why I felt the need to say that because sometimes, because this is talking about four of Raphael, right? A disconnect emotionally is the better way to say it because it's like sometimes you have to let people know that, you know, you have your own life and you have your life to live. So if they want to control you, because this is like the devil card, they want to control what you do. You got to speak up and tell them, hey, you know, I have my own life to live and this is how I want to live it. Can you please honor that and respect me for who I am, right? I don't know why I really have that need to say that right now. Group number two. Um, what else do I see here? Yeah, so basically with that tethering, I really do truly find it very ironic that you have lots of airy cards here, uh, but it also carries that very dense energy, right? Very dense and very mm, just... That, that string's really strong for some reason, right? That silver cord. <laughs> so, it, you know, that really led me to think that your village is in the sky, but not too, too high because of the, get this, the pessimistic tendencies that, that may creep up in your mind, okay? Now, this is all in your head. This is you doing it to yourself. You tend to pull yourself down quite a bit. So this tells me that there's a disconnect, right? Because of that apathy card here, that... um the four Raphael, right? It, it really, it gives that disconnect and, and, and it kind of makes you feel like maybe you're bored with your life, right? Or maybe there, is there something better out there, right? You're feeling like, is, is this all there is to my life? Like, that's what I'm picking up, that pessimistic, oh, I can't even say it right, pessimistic point of view at certain points of your life, all right? So with, um, so with this card here, uh, this is just about the four, like I said, it's the four of cups. So it's the feeling of apathy. It's the feeling of discontentment, right? Uh, you're, you're not really happy with what you're seeing in front of you. Um, but then there's the universe here with, uh, Raphael, uh, guardian angel here is like showing, showing you another way, but he is right, right behind you. So you can't really see it right away. So then you're like disappointed. But when I look at this card, and I look at the will and wisdom mind one, because when I put them together, actually, let me see here. What do I see? I feel like a lot, a lot of energy coming off of it. Um, so this card really expresses the, uh, the great opportunity from this card, right? Uh, because this, so basically take this, minimize it and put it in the little conch shell that Raphael is holding behind you. This is the will, wisdom and mind card, okay? And it really tells me that 
you have a really great opportunity to truly work with your elevated ancestors and creating a wonderful legacy for you guys, for you and your family, okay? And it's asking for you to really embrace your lineage, okay? Instead of like taking it for granted. Now take what you resonate with. I'm not saying that you guys are ungrateful, okay? But the, the energy, what I'm sensing right now is that may, maybe you feel like you're not appreciating it as much as you should. So what I'm saying is I sense an energy of not seeing the bigger picture, okay? You may think that your family lineage is like, nothing of greatness meanwhile spiritually your family has been bestowed quite a really strong quest here to bring in such healing to the collective on a really major scale but you didn't see that okay so maybe this reading why you're drawn to this reading is for you to actually start realizing how great your family lineage is even if it looks so broken to you or maybe you feel like this family is kind of like discombobulated like what the heck you know because why i say discombobulated because look at your there's no head remember we talked about no heads here oh my gosh that's probably why like I can't believe it so yeah so like a chicken without a head right maybe you feel like your family has no 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 purpose or something but seriously you guys are going through your family lineage your elevated ancestor ancestors have really worked hard to um bring you this okay the will wisdom and mind all right it's it's about um it's about greatness. It's about uh, the family crest, right? About you appreciating what, where you come from. So um, w if I were to bring this notion into your landscape, I would say that alongside the village in the sky that you guys have, it's a beautiful big castle, okay? I do sense a big castle uh, right next to the village that you guys have up in the air. Um, yeah, that's what I sense. And I see a really beautiful pink orb because when I look down here, if I'm thinking about the castle, right? see the castle here the tower and the beautiful pink aura around it and also the pink and this card as well you guys that your castle has like a really beautiful pink uh aura around it so to me that is um correlating to the high heart chakra right this is to work together with the 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 beautiful um i was gonna say balance card and the listening card okay because the listening card actually let me put this down for a second yeah so basically it's you are to actually work together with this card uh, for you to be that elephant that's putting its head down so that the birds can sing its song, right? Or maybe somebody uh, that you see really big in your life, uh, which is the elephant, the obstacle in your life. Maybe uh, it is time now for you to be able to go on top of that elephant, on top of that obstacle and sing your own song regardless of how big that obstacle is, okay? That's what I'm sensing. And it's about allowing, it, once you sing that beautiful song, right? Because you're that little canary right on top of his head, right? Once you sing that beautiful song, this elephant is going to realize that, wow, what a beautiful song you have. Maybe you can go do that, right? That's a message for somebody very specific. I, I could feel that very tremendously. Um, because when you look at the balance card, I feel like, this is about you honoring your feelings, okay? Honor, honoring your feelings and your thoughts. Um, it's about you seeing what's best for you at the moment as well. So see what you would benefit with at the moment, uh, whether it's taking in and exuding more masculine energy or, or um, taking in and being the soft and assertive, but with compassion, like the feminine energy, right? That's what I'm sensing, I feel like. Like, that's what you guys need to kind of, like, you know, learn how to balance with, right? Your feminine and masculine energies. And I feel like when I look at this fairy bee here, um, this fairy bee, it's it says here, my life is sweet, but she looks like she's upset, right? So for me, I feel like this is you. Um, maybe you're supposed to calm down first before you can actually really introspect. So take the time to really calm down before you introspect and see and make a list. You know, you can make a list of of uh, things in your life that you are grateful for and or what you should be grateful for, right? So, or maybe you have a child who's angry and don't see uh, that his or her life is pretty sweet, right? I, I don't know. When I look at her, I feel like there's a child looking back at me like, yeah, no, I'm really upset right now. I can't see what sweetness there is, right? But that's the thing about the fairy bee is that she knows that she has sweet things in her life. She just needs a little time to cool off, you know, just like this. See how this child is, is needing a little time in on the beach to cool off? Yeah. 
Okay, so <laughs> I know that's such a weird and pretty interesting way to define these things, but it, it it's what I download and I'm just I'm like I said, I'm very honest. I will say what I hear hear and, and see and think in my mind. Um so yeah, so basically with this fairy wing fairy wing, yeah, this fairy bee, um it's saying that you don't have to hold on to the negative naysayers, right? You don't have to hold on to those negative people in your life. Maybe you're afraid to let them go, right? That that tethering, right? You Maybe you are afraid to let them. Maybe you're the one who's afraid to let them go. Maybe it's an old friend that was really, really just very, has a pessimistic point of view and you're afraid to let that person go because you've been together for so long. Or maybe you've been best friends for so long, right? I, I, I've had to, in my own personal life, I have had, uh, you know, a lot of people that I was really close to, but because they didn't see my point of view and they had that, because I can kind of relate to this, to the spread to you guys here. Um, they didn't see my value the way they wanted to control me. So I had to let that go. Okay. So now I'm really drawn to um, the wings card, right? You know, this is uh, what the meaning is that you can get yourself out of the rabbit hole. Remember we talked about that rabbit hole earlier from the, in the beginning of your reading? You can get yourself out anytime and you can actually overcome any challenges because of this card here, the listening card with the elephant, right? You, you, as small as you are, as, as big as the challenge may be, you have the wherewithal. You see all these beautiful notes of secret codes to, to getting yourself out of trouble, right? That, that's the thing. You you never needed those wings to fly. You were capable to begin with, okay? That's the, the true message here for you guys. You know, take it from me. I understand you guys more than you think, okay? I feel bound and tethered in the past. And, you know, holding on to those negative thought patterns and the, the pessimistic ways that I used to have, right? So I totally get it. And if I can do it and, you know you can do it too okay if that if you're re resonating with the message that i'm saying today um again if you don't resonate then you know maybe this is not your pile uh but anyways i truly hope this reading has helped you in some way shape or form group number two with that said i do encourage you to visit silver star priestess's collab video uh to this collab video right she's going to actually dive deeper into your subconscious mind and potentially help you find that beautiful key to unlocking that uh secret kate secret cave the secret chambers right i'm thinking cave chambers the uh, one and the same but one is locked up right <laughs> so yeah so feel um you know i hope that you do take that time to to go check out her video okay so i will link that down below but before you do please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like this reading if you haven't already um come join our amazing beautiful creative family here where i do interesting and empowering pick a cards for you guys so that you can shine your deliciously unique light and if you are coming from heather's channel i love you guys so much thank you so much for coming to, to watch my video here and hopefully you guys can subscribe as well if you guys really love my energy um here you know uh we have a beautiful community here and we really do i keep and make sure and i take good care of you guys i do post like a lot of different um uh, fun things, activities, and things three times a week on my community page. So feel free to check that out. Um, with that said, uh, I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, bye. Hi guys, have you picked out this time stamp? It is for group number three. Yes, hi. Thanks for group nine. Uh, thanks for joining me here. <laughs> so yay, group number three. Okay, so basically, what is the landscape of your mind, your ink blots, right? So before we start, I have two things to mention before I start, okay? So I'm super excited to let you know that, of course, if you, as you may already know, this is a collab video, okay, with the multi talented diviner silver star priestess we did a collab video on the egyptian past lives uh and the timelines in a while back so that was a success for us so we thought why not dive deeper right uh why not do one where psychology meets spirituality so here we are uh so after you watch this video um about what your landscape is like in your mind you can actually head on out and find out what messages your subconscious mind has for you because that's what heather is going to cover and i will link that video in the description box down below but just a quick disclaimer oh and also before i 
uh, do the disclaimer. Um, if you are coming from Heather's channel, thank you so much for joining me here. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and hopefully you guys subscribe uh, if you want to be a part of the community, okay? So uh, with that, the quick disclaimer is that I am not here to diagnose anything, nor am I a medical professional in this field. So with that said, this reading is just for fun, right? And it's also to potentially show you you know, what your mind may look like if I were to paint a picture of your mind for you guys. So as always, my creative readings are for your spiritual growth and to help you empower yourself, right? Uh, this is for you to be able to, you know, shine your own unique light when you are empowered, okay? So uh, keep, also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So take what you're, what you're resonating with and take and go with your gut. So maybe you can, um, not can, but maybe you feel like you resonate with more than one pile. That's a high possibility too, because, you know, minds, our minds are so vast that it can be multifaceted in so many different ways. So with that said, let's get started. I did say I made some ink blots for each pile. So here is yours, group number three. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm actually really quite impressed with myself with this one because I literally, I'm not a painter, nor am I really great at drawing. I'm just not that type of artist. Um, I'm more of like, I love reading books and I love storytelling and that I'm that kind of artist. But with this, I'm actually really impressed. See, look at what you guys got here. Ta-da! <laughs> so group number three. I was shook when I noticed these beautiful little membranes inside of your blots. Like they're, it's almost like a real scan of the brain and the mind. I was so impressed. I was just like, wow, Chai. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Take it down a notch, Chai. I don't want to be feeling like, you know, <laughs> I'm rubbing my own ego here, but look, look at what you guys got. You guys are so impressive. Look at how, okay. So my interpretation of your, your ink blot here, right? So there is something that you're seeking because when you look at this empty spot, right? Kind of like not in the middle of your picture here, but it's right there in the heart. Because if you take this and think about this as your head over here, the chest area and the rest of your body, and there's an empty spot in your heart, not to say that you guys have, um, you know, an empty spot in your heart. I'm just saying like, maybe you guys didn't find that thing that you guys are looking for yet in terms of love relationship, or maybe like, you know, what you're meant to do on earth, right? Something like that. Because it just feels like you guys are very abundant though, because if I were, this is the, a, a portion of the landscape of your mind, right? If you were, if I was to take this into consideration, you guys are very saturated because you're, look at, you're, this thing, the whole page is almost completely saturated with all the different nooks and crannies here, right? So let's see what your card says. And I will um, occasionally bring back your ink blot throughout the reading. So let's see what's going on here. I'm so excited. Okay, group number three. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, so <laughs> you guys have angelic realms. I don't know. Okay, so... The weird part is that with your group, I feel really, really like pumped up. I feel really giddy too, like always happy, but I don't know if that's how you guys are, but I feel like almost like these, these unicorns and the beautiful dogs and wolves here and the angelic energy, there's some kind of connection with you guys when it comes to that beautiful ray of light. You guys have a lot of abundant of energy. Like I, I feel like I want to dance with you guys, um, but now... <laughs> As I say that, this card comes out. Confidence, it comes with time and practice. Maybe you're feeling a little insecure lately, but we'll see, okay? Wow. Okay. You guys got the Black Jaguar, Old Soul. Okay. That, wow, that really actually corresponds to the ink blot that I made for you guys. So when I made them, I didn't know which one belongs to which group, but, you know, I closed my eyes and then I put it on the pile. So teach, number five. Okay, so you are here to change something or not just change, but to teach people in ways that creates change in the world. Now, you've got number 15, wild, okay? That's why, oh my gosh, that's why I feel like I wanna dance, I wanna, I just wanna be wild with you guys. This is crazy, oh my gosh. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. I'm, <laughs> I'm really impressed, wow, I'm, <laughs> wow. I can't stop smiling. So the lightning bolt, eight of forces. You guys are very pungent. You're strong. You may even have like a very attractive look to you guys. That's very exotic as well because of this. Um, let's see. Spring, see your seeds grow. Okay. 
and very and and bunnies are correlating to strong abundant sexuality um you know maybe that's a physical touch is your thing as well so two of michael right a twist in the tail i know this card well so i can cover that sacred pool okay all right, so actually, I'm going to put that here. And then I'll, you know, per usual, I'm not the fastest divider, but I'm a very honest divider. So I will tell you what I see here, honestly, okay? So with that said, I'll see you in a couple of seconds. All right, group three. I can't believe this. So I am being called to actually pick up this beautiful card, the Black Jaguar. Jaguar, I love. I can't even say it properly here. Okay, so Black Jaguar, right? So it says here, old soul, walk through life with confidence, grace, and you have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. <gasps> and you can create your dreams. Oh my goodness. Wow. Guys, remember I said earlier, and I swear I do not know what your message is. And so what it says here, you have power from beyond the world focus on what you really want that thing that you want that missing piece to your link okay that missing link to your heart i don't know something like that that's so strange but okay so black jaguar old soul you have been here um on earth plenty of times so actually let me there i feel like there's more to this let me just tap in a little bit more just hold on one second okay so you know, this picture really reminds me of, um, yeah. Okay, they're saying, go back. Okay, go back, where is spirit? Show me the way. Okay. Ah, okay. So they say, go back to what you would paint as a landscape, okay? So from what I'm sensing, especially about this card, I feel like because of the... You see how this jaguar is looking back, but you see how the stairs here, and then you also have another stair that I saw earlier, yeah. So basically the teach card also has stairs here. So the if I were to lay a foundation on your landscape of your mind, I would say you have a lot of staircases, okay? But the thing is, your staircases do not abide by any earthly laws because what I mean by this is that the staircases in your landscape of your mind actually goes up and down, left and right, inverted, out, extroverted, uh, it really reminds me of that picture I saw years ago when I researched the topic of illusions, um, excuse me, visual illusions, optical illusions, right? Um, when you click online, if you, I'm pretty sure those pictures are still there, but it's almost like these staircases that goes every which way and coming out from every corner of the, you know, picture. So that's the thing uh, where the drawing had many different staircases interconnected and for me at each corner, it changes over to the next staircase. So to me, I feel like when that happens, there's real no guarantee whether it's going to go up or down the next step that you take. So maybe that's what your mind is like. And that's what I'm being guided to talk about. Okay. It's that complicated, that intricate um, mind that you guys have group number three. I feel like I would actually categorize the foundation of your mind to truly resemble a labyrinth made with, um, a bunch of staircases, right? It's a, it's a maze. It's basically a maze. Yeah, it's a maze. It's a labyrinth made with the different staircases that goes in and out every which way. It's really complicated, but only you know yourself and you know how to get through your 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 labyrinth. Um, yeah, because in the environment and atmosphere that it has, it really, I don't sense that it has any bounds or any natural laws that we would actually see here on earth. So why I say this, because you truly are like an old soul, you know, uh, this black Jaguar card here, this is about those poets, you know, but these are the groups that are like poets, the inventors, the pioneers, the leaders, the teachers, right? You even got that teach card over there, uh, the guides, right? The old souls. Okay. That's what I'm sensing. You guys are old, old souls. Okay, since I already talked about the teach card, let's bring that here. Look at the different staircases, you see? So, oh, wow. Um, that's a lot to wrap your mind around. <laughs> Crew number three, you guys are pretty, pretty extensive. Like, very, very, oh my gosh. Um, so, okay, so as you can see, you can see number five on the, the teach card here. So, this tells me that... It's about you creating change and sparking curiosity within those 
people, you know, all of the different people here, you see, uh, those people are seeking more out of their life, right? So spiritually speaking, you have been around the block many times because of the Jaguar card, right? Um, so your soul is basically equipped with the necessary tools and knowledge accrued from other incarnations. And um, so most likely you will find that you are very good at various subjects, right? Subjects like math and science and literature. That's what I'm sensing here, okay? You guys are, um, ah, what else? So for me, I feel like those things really come easily for you guys. And you tend to have really extensive knowledge on many different topics. Um, so for me, I feel like that, that quality of, of, um, ingenious capacities are basically at the forefront, right? So to add to your landscape of the labyrinth of staircases that I already mentioned earlier to your landscape, I see small little tiny keys left at every corner, uh, where one, the, the, that pivotal point, that little point where the one st staircase ends and another one begins, there's a little key there for you. That's what I see. I see a lot of different keys going around and they're all different. Okay. Um, what else, what else do I sense here? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So in correspondence to your mind, when I correlate it to your mind, this means that you are a problem solver. Okay, group number three, you can truly see things for what they are at face value. And you can also see the potential depth that it has as well. Okay. So, you know, you having this really well-rounded viewpoint really allows you to get, you know, from point A to point Z really well. Um, and sometimes you're even able to skip steps to get to, to your answers much faster. Okay. Much quicker. So why I say this too, is because of the wild card over there. And I feel like because you're able to do that, you're very efficient in that way. Right. Yeah, so this wild card is also why I have that image of your landscape being very unconventional, right? More of a puzzle to be solved rather than an actual landscape of the land. You actually have a really great mastermind, guys. Number three, you guys, wow, it's crazy. The characteristics of your mind is wild, just like this card, right? And of course, you've got the Black Jaguar card too. So it like, it really double dosed that energy. Like, I really feel like you guys are very abundant, very saturated, right? Um... Yeah, but the thing is, when I sense and, and uh, tap into this card and this energy, your mind is meant to be free, okay? You are meant to freely think without any hindrance, okay? Your ideas, your thoughts, all of those things can flow through you very rapidly and definitely in succession as well. Um, much like the, per, per, you know, what is that word? Perpetual staircases on your landscape, Um because it keeps on going, right? Every which way, and it keeps on going. It's never ending. So to add to the painting of your landscape, uh, to me, I feel like with this card, you have a rapid uh, sense of um, direction. You know, I feel like I can feel the wind in your your landscape on the staircase, right? You have rapid winds and winding mini tornadoes. I feel like when I want to talk about the tornadoes, I can barely get my breath out because it feels like, wow, that it's so strong. Sometimes you can barely breathe around the, the tornadoes that's been bouncing around from staircase to staircase. Okay. It's wild just like this. Okay. And when it becomes really aggressive because your mind have that ability to become very aggressive, uh, this will actually, oh my gosh. So this makes you worry. Okay. It makes you worry that you're going to fall off the staircase at any time. All right. I really do sense the fear, just like this girl, how she's leaning over, but she's also holding on to this thing right here because she's worried that she's going to fall off the boat. It's the same thing. It's the same concept. When your mind spirals really aggressively and when you start seeing key points that most people don't see, it freaks you out so badly that you're afraid to lose your mind. Kind of like Einstein, right? You're so intelligent that you... Not that you have the potential to lose your mind, you don't, you know, you are very strong and very grounded because why I say you're grounded because red means grounding, okay? You have the ability to not allow yourself be to, to become crazy or to become one of those people that's so smart that they don't have a good grip of their mind. You have a good grip of your mind. See how you're gripping onto this and you have that red color. So also I just got this in for group number three. There are some of you guys that do need to learn to ground more. In order to do that, you can wear the red bracelet. Um, you can order the red bracelet online or you can make it yourself because I, my loved one actually made that, that, um, that bracelet for me. So 
you you know you can wear something red to ground yourself if that's how you feel right or think about the the um oh excuse me the mental exercise that can help you ground or maybe do grounding meditation anyway so back to your reading so basically that's what i sent that fear of falling off because of how smart you are right and 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 it makes you feel like oh my gosh like okay what if i lose myself what if i lose a piece of me and i can never take that back or i can never find it again that's the fear that i sent off of your ink blot too um you know, now that I'm divining it through your cards in correlation to your cards. Um, yeah, so what else do I sense? Um, yeah, it's almost like you're so afraid that you're going to fall into that spiral, you know, that, that, you know, I don't know if you remember that show, The Twilight Zone, where you can go into that space, that mental space of like, or that dimension where there, it's a twilight area where you just spiral forever and ever and ever. <laughs> And, you know, and there's like no destination. That's what you fear. You fear of having no destination, that you're just going through a life without any purpose, right? That's the fear. Wow. That's insane how that just came through even before. And now I'm able to correlate that with this. Um, I just sense uh, a couple of you guys feeling a little sad right now, but I don't think that you guys need to be sad because there's a lot of, there's a lot that you guys have to offer okay so i feel like saying that the power of your mind alone can actually do wonders for the world if you nourish it properly okay why i say this too is because you guys got the sacred pool card and you know the sacred pool card number 47 look that up okay so you've got the sacred pool card here which is really symbolize a looking glass okay this is where you stare into the mirror and it really allows you to truly ask yourself really realistically and practically you know those questions like um because i know that most mathematical minds tend to enforce the trait of realism and practicality right that's why i say that so this leads me to think that you know on your staircase you would actually place a mirror right or like a pool like vortex around every so often around the corners or around your staircase um, the labyrinth right so this will serve as a rest stop um, or slash pit stop for you guys to refuel and find solutions to your problems, okay? Uh, hence why, you know, you, these pools are are very sacred in nature because it says sacred pool here. Um, it's basically, sorry, my head was itchy. So it's where the truth is always revealed to you guys. Whether you like the answers or not, you actually love making that pit stop because um, you see, you truly see the value and, and the impact on on what it does to your understanding of yourself right so this notion is derived from the lightning bolt too so actually let me just pick up the lightning bolt now so yeah so correlating it to the lightning bolt right because it's that epiphany that you get that's that mirror effect right so this card is about the force much like a lightning bolt of um, epiphany the light that cannot be avoided once it hits right so anything that is around it in the shadows under the night sky is going to be illuminated okay guys so another thing about you know your tendency to spiral is the um that that two of michaels right because when i look at the colors and i was looking down and these two really correlate see how they they mirror each other the the yellow the yellow the blue the blue so you have back and forth mirroring so <laughs> that's so crazy oh my gosh it's so crazy how these things fall out so yeah okay so eight of force is two of michael so basically right in order to complete because this is number eight and this is number two you add the eight and two together it becomes a number 10 number 10 in order to complete the task you have to look and introspect and see what what is there truthfully right and that's how you're going to be able to make that decision because two of michael is basically almost like that two of pentacles where you're trying to um balance those things out and try to see which way you won't your you know how which way to go so um with the two of michaels it really leads to you over analyzing right you have that tendency to over analyze because you have so much knowledge that you're able to see different avenues and it takes you to down that rabbit hole it's crazy um so yeah so basically during the um solving stage in your mind your thought process right it can lead you to stagnation uh, 
I can't speak, to stagnation, okay? If the winds are too aggressive on your landscape, then you kind of stay blocked, right? So this will lead you to like a lot of indecision, a lot of issues, right? Um, yeah, so this card is to show you, Spirit is saying you're able to at least pick one lead and just go from there. Just pick one thing, right? Just pick that one thing. So, um, like when I think about that one thing that you're supposed to pick and you're feeling really insecure because two of pentacles is talking about you not feeling confident enough to pick your, make your choices. So confidence, it comes with time and practice. Okay. It's funny about, you know, the thing about genius minds is like, um, especially minds like yourself, sometimes because of the outside elements from poor nourishment, right? That's why I say you're, you have to nourish your mind, guys, okay? Whether that would be, you know, any like past put downs from people in the past, or um, maybe, you know, it's about, it's not about you really when people put you down, it's them reflecting and projecting things about themselves that they can't see for themselves, right? So because they are not adept to understanding your ways, it could just be that they they really, for them, they're insecure, right? They're insecurities. So they will um, project their insecurities onto you. So because of this, they could have like, you know, I just feel like this happened to you in the past, maybe when you were in your younger years, maybe someone that, people that you know are growing up or maybe a group of friends were, you know, making fun of you because you're so intelligent and surpassing their intelligence. So then they get a little jealous maybe. That's also part of the thing too, because look at how, she's just like really just not very confident right um so now because of that those things were embedded right into you so you feel that lack of confidence at times in ways that can actually cause a detriment to your health, mental health okay so proper mental nourishment is key for you guys group number three you guys are here you're supposed to take that go to the sacred pool here heal your mind right i think that your mind is one of the your greatest assets Really, truly, I really do. I feel like your mind can really make changes. Number five, see two, three, and then you've got the teach card, number five as well, five, five. Great changes, okay? Um, so I'm being guided to actually talk about the twist and tail because, whew, okay, so the unexpected, a change you did not see coming, right? So little did you know that you are an amazing twist in the storyline, okay? Especially in your mental world, because a twist and tail is about that surprise factor that these two species, right? These two uh, uh, entities, they're, they're actually siblings and other people didn't realize that they're siblings, right? So they come, they're cut from the same cloth. So others wouldn't actually fathom the notion, uh, but yet here they are, right? So to me, what that means is that all the staircases in your labyrinth, is very collapsible right because it's all one you guys are cut from the same cloth right all of your thoughts and all of those things all the staircases and all the crazy thoughts that you have just collapse it into one spot you're not going to fall down okay this is what i'm guided to say i don't know if that makes sense so basically let me reiterate so once you realize that all of that is in your own control right you can actually consolidate the staircases you can fold each one on top of another to build a whole new you okay one solid you so basically all of those things that you went through all those mental anguish that you went through it's just to condition you so that you can actually overcome your obstacles and learn how to consolidate your mind your mind is every which way it's very saturated look at this right very saturated so you can become one whole big beautiful circle right come into full circle within yourself is what i'm sensing um it's not about you shunning it for its brilliance anymore okay it it's not about you calling it a nuisance because you're so bright it's not about you um you know just because others can't relate and 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 things, uh, you know, they can't relate to you doesn't mean that it's your fault, right? Um, you know, it's about you forgiving yourself for those relationships that fail due to the, you know, your inability to accept yourself in all of your totality, right? Group number three, that's what I'm sensing. You guys are deserving of love, all right? Once you see yourself truly and who you truly are, then you, because look, you're seeing yourself as a ferret, but you're actually both the ferret and the uh, the girl, the beautiful girl. So it's like, it's telling me that you guys are, you know, just really just amazing. 
But once you decide to love yourself, other people will follow suit, okay? And why I say this too, and it's such a beautiful closing because the twist and tail will, will lead you to that angelic realm of team effort, charity, validation, patience, okay? Have patience with yourself. Learn to have patience for other people as well, just because why I say this too is because I do know a lot of very intelligent people in my life. Like they're very extra intelligent, but sometimes they, they lack the patience for those who cannot really understand what they're trying to convey right <laughs> so for me i'm like okay i'm gonna ask questions because if i'm curious about something and they're telling me things that are beyond my capacity to understand at first glance i'm gonna ask them and be like hey what do you mean by that you know hey what do you what do you what is your your thoughts on this and when they spiral down their beautiful mind i'm like okay maybe you need to slow down a little bit because i'm not that fast <laughs> but anyway so um angelic realms team effort right it's about working together right so um actually it's so funny they're saying yeah okay 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 so basically group number three i have a feeling that you guys get a lot of downloads from the angelic realms because your mind is so open to new concepts right uh so out of this world ideas come to you very easily so the angelic realms can easily actually connect with you guys okay you guys usually you know that's the thing they feel like because you're so open right you're able to actually grab all of those things that they give within your mind as a download you are here to spark ideas um for other people as well because remember you've got that teach card right uh so i feel like what they're telling me to or they're asking me to say is that because they are fully aware that you are a very good conduit, right? And a good candidate to create and bring forth those ideas that they send to you guys in your mind. Um, yeah, so they're saying if I were to add that to your landscape in the version that you haven't already consolidated your staircase, you haven't already collapsed in that version, you will find that in that atmosphere, you have your landscape, you have like glowing orbs all around, right? You have like these beautiful, beautiful light glowing orbs all around your staircases. Um, yeah, and they said that those are to represent the beautiful downloads given by your spirit team, okay? And, um, you know, they, they love to float around, you know, just waiting for you to pluck them, right? <laughs> for you to actually pluck them and take them and put that into action, right? That's what it's saying because look, look, it says spring to action, spring, you see your seeds grow, right? This is the energy that is in motion, right? So once you decide to pluck something out of that atmosphere of the little glowing orbs, the different ideas that are floating in your labyrinth, it's about you really just pulverizing this two of Michaels, right? And really setting your foot down and be like, hey, you know what? This is what I want. This is what I want to bring forth. This is, when I uh, this is what I want to animate. Let me do this now in this lifetime, okay? And you can't go wrong with that decision, guys. Group number three. Wow, that was a gorgeous reading. Wow, I really love that. Thank you, Spirit. So yeah, that was phenomenal. So like I said, I saw what your mind is like and it made me like, oh my gosh, I really want to cry. Like it I was really in awe. So I sure hope you guys really enjoyed my beautiful interpretation and painting of your mind, um, group number three. So, you know, that was for me, for me, that was like poetry, right? I really love poems. So your mind is poetry in itself, guys. Okay. So any, anyways, don't forget to hit up Heather's channel, Silver Star Priestess. I will link it down below. She will definitely dive deeper into the aspect of your subconscious mind. This is where your thoughts are hidden within the secret chamber. So before you do though, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like this reading. If you haven't already come, come join our amazing beautiful creative family here where I do interesting and empowering pick of cards and I also do um you know really fun things uh throughout the week for you guys in the community page and also I want to thank Heather's uh subscribers too for coming over um and watching my video okay so feel free to like share and subscribe if you like to uh with that said I love all of my viewers um, and I'll see you in my next one. Hi guys, if you picked out this timestamp, it is for group number four. Yes, hi, yay, group number four. I'm so happy that you guys are joining me here today. So basically the topic for my video is what is the landscape of your mind, right? If you didn't watch the um, intro, 
you know, it's about your ink blot. So I will show you what your ink blots will look like. Um, I have it right here actually. So before we start though, I do have two things to mention here. I'm super excited to let you know that this is a collab video with the multi-talented diviner Silver Star Priestess. We did a collab video, uh, you know, in the recent past and that was so much fun to do and it was such a success for both of us. So it was only natural to want to do another collab together. So this time we thought, why not dive deeper and and do one where psychology meets spirituality, right? So basically after watching this video of mine, you can go ahead and head on out to watch, uh, you know, Silver Star Priestess, Priestess's video, right? <laughs> um, to find out, you know, messages uh, of what your subconscious mind may have for you there, okay? So I will link that video down below. Um, but also, if you are coming from Heather's channel, thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate you coming over um, and feel free to like, share and subscribe, you know, and and uh, just letting you know that we do do a lot of fun things throughout the community page. OK, so just a quick disclaimer, though, I am not here to diagnose anything, nor am I a medical professional in this field. So with that said, this reading is just for you to actually have fun with and also to potentially show you what your mind may look like if I were to paint a picture of your mind for you guys. OK, so um, as always, my creative readings are for your spiritual growth. Right. I I. I'm here to help you empower yourself in order for you to shine your unique light into the world, okay? So keep that in mind. It is a general reading, so take what you resonate with, all right? So with that said, um, let's get started. So you have chosen pile four. So four, here is your ink blot, okay? So your beautiful ink blot is right over here. I'm so excited. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm really impressed with this because like I was just like how do I do this <laughs> actually it's so funny because the first time I I tried to do an ink blot thing it didn't and you know I didn't know what to do so I actually had to ask my my um my god sister uh queen sunbeam tarot and she was like why don't you just um fold it in half and do the ink blot that way so thank you thank you sweetie for letting me know anyway so back to your ink blot so here's your ink blot group number four and Basically, what I see through this ink blot here is that ugh, you guys have you guys have like different points of um, the way that you think. It's there. There are things that you have that's very different from other people because if you look at see how like there's people here, people here in my mind, right? That's what I see. People here, people here, and then there's you right in the middle, and you're like, okay. I can see what you guys are talking about, but there's something that that is allowing you to actually, because if you really look closely, what I see is almost like a frog on a lily pad, right? Looking out to another lily pad. So maybe you want to travel to another place, maybe, right? Um, because look at the legs here, the body, uh, the head, and this is the lily pad that it's on. That's what I said. So maybe that's what you're feeling right now. You feel like you want to um, do something different. That's what I sense, but we'll see. I will bring it back into your reading to correlate to uh, the messages that I see divining through your channeling, okay? So let's see what you've got. I'm so excited. All right, so you've got well-being, self-preservation, service to spirit, youthful experience, okay? I love the colors. I love fuchsia. So number three, tower, unplug, relax for a spell. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I had to I had to show this to you guys now because look, it says unplug, right? Look at look at this. This is the plug. It's unplugging from the main station here, right? Bloop, taking your head out, unplugging your mind, right? Isn't that crazy? That's insane. That's very validating right there. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. I do have a lot of cards to show you guys. So let's breeze through Elk Nobility. Number four, birth. Okay. 21, healing. Aw. Uh, Queen of Gabriel. Okay. Actually, I'll put it here because I see the color scheme. Butterflies in gloom. I'll put her here. Listen. Uh, 
making a choice. Actually, I'll put this in the middle. And then you've got winter, take care of your needs. Okay, there's a lot of self-care stuff here. Oh, you guys are overworked. You guys need to, yeah. Wow, okay. So, you know, when you think about the serenity of being at, on a lily pad and the lotus flower and the frog, it's talking about you needing that self-care time. So anyway, so with that said, um, again, you know, I normally take a couple minutes because I'm not the fastest diviner, but I will tell you the truth. I will tell you what I see here, okay? So with that said, I'll see you in a couple of seconds. All right, group number four. So immediately I am being drawn to this beautiful elk nobility card, okay? So group number four, wow, you guys got this beautiful majestic animal here. So they're actually very known for their uh, family orientation. Like they really love family so much, um, but they're very majestic and very abundant. So what I picked up on this group is a strong polarity though, okay? Um, it's kind of funny why I say polarity too is because when I look back onto your ink blot, this is you, there's that other side of the spectrum, another side of the spectrum. So you got like this splitting, um, you know, thing going on here, maybe like, uh, I don't know, there's possibly even like four different types of mentality that you have within yourself. It's kind of strange, but anyway, so back to this card here. Um, so what, yeah, so that's what I picked up. Um, but you know, when I look throughout your spread, I really do notice there's like a sadness coming from your vibration, right? So you may also be hiding your feelings of like uh, melancholy or sadness from the people around you, right? You're hiding that. And if you're feeling a little depressed, I really do um, encourage you to go seek help, okay? Uh, take it from me, just go seek help and get your mindset, you know, back on track and healthy. Um, because I do see that that's a prominent thing here. If you're not resonating with this and this is not your pile, you can go look for another pile. But it, and it, it could be that you're just overworked and you're tired, right? So take the time to really take that self-care um, you know, advice and be really, you know, be on top of that. Okay. I love you guys. So, all right. So basically immediately when I'm correlating it to the mind landscape that you're here to see is that in your landscape, I do see dark clouds, but I also feel really soft rain falling onto my skin. So I feel like that's something that you would have in your landscape is the beautiful, dim gloomy kind of look into your part certain parts of your um, maybe there's a section of your landscape that has that um, but we're probably going to be able to see more throughout the reading but right now what I see are dark clouds and really soft rain I but it's a really nice melancholy feeling though like it's not it's not a really horrible sadness feeling but it's like uh -huh. yeah mm -hmm. so yeah so the landscape still reminds me of earth though so I feel like there's something correlating to earth right so to me this actually lets me know that you love being in nature okay group number four you actually love the changing seasons because when i look around and i see the different seasons in your spread right so now i'm sensing that your mental landscape is very similar to that right where it splits into different wow okay i just saw that take a take a regular you know screen here and split it into four different vertical rectangles uh, rectangles right um and each one are different seasons like winter uh spring fall summer right so this really actually reminds me of that kid show tinkerbell i love watching tinkerbell like i honestly oh my gosh i love tinkerbell so much so but i remember watching that movie uh tinkerbell and the secret wings right in this show i remember that tinkerbell actually found out she has a, a twin sister located on the other side of the realm where she it, where she was but it's because she's part of like the spring uh fall and all of the different uh elements there but then her sister was raised in the winter fairy uh section right so because there is a feud between the different fairy clans uh, they actually were not allowed to cross over to the winter season so to me, if I were to paint a picture of your mantle, mantle, mental landscape here, you have winter, uh, you know, you have the summer card, you have the, um, yeah, so basically the winter card, the summer card, right, and the listen card uh, has all the different vibrations, because when I look at the listen card, the summer card really reminds me of that too, um, I'm like looking around to see I'm not missing anything. 
Yeah. So with spring, what, how I derive that spring essence is the birth card because that birth card really kind of makes you feel like um, new beginnings, right? New, new sprouts of seedlings and stuff. So that's the birth card for me. And for fall, I feel like, you know, because of all the different colors within your spread, it really exudes that fall feeling. So each section would actually have, to me, I feel like each um, season would have a, in your mind, would have a doorway or like a portal, you know, or something like that in order for you to cross over, right? Because that's what I sense here. See? See that portal here on this side and that side? So, um, yeah, that you would have that doorway for you to cross over to different seasons, kind of like that. Um, but in the movie, right, in the Tinkerbell movie, it's just a line that kind of splits over and you're crossing over to another season. But in your world, in your mind, you actually have a doorway to kind of go through. So, I mean, you may or may not, you know, notice how seasons truly affect the way that you feel or think, right? But, you know, maybe this is the time for you to kind of introspect and reflect on that. Maybe it's true. Um, but that's not to say that it matches up on how this planet, you know, the planet Earth, how it has changing of seasons like that. What I'm saying is that in your mental world, right, it runs on its very own season. So it's not matching up. You're not like, you know, when it's winter time, it's winter time in your mind. And when it's summer, it's summer in your mind. No, I feel like it has its own control. Like it, but it does go through different seasons. Okay. Meaning for each season that you go through, it tends to play that season out for quite a long time, maybe three to four months sometimes, or three to four weeks. Right. Um, so in that essence, it is correlating to the seasons here, but you know, that's the thing. Um, but the thing is, if you're aware of this, for the group that is aware of, of your mind being this way, you are able to actually come out of it because and you're able to take yourself out making that choice, right? You know, that's how I got that idea with the portal, the door. So yeah, so your mind is ready to actually elevate in ways it hasn't before, okay? So your mind is in itself and in, on its own very own essence of... Um, uh, what, like that, remember I mentioned that melancholy or that sadness because it knows that it's time to change up, okay? It's been running on the same kind of way uh, of the way that it's living for a long time now. So it knows that it needs to change up somehow to elevate, right? So for, for itself, it kind of makes it hard for you to really, you know, for you, because your mind is like that, it's hard for you to actually change over to what you're supposed to change over to uh, and to truly go full force in this change because, you know, again, you know, this is a general reading. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, maybe this is not your reading, but ones that uh, kind of resonate what I'm talking about, you know exactly what, what I'm talking about. For you, you know, right now, um, if I were to add to your landscape, I would see these two virtual doors here, right? And it's about you having to decide to which one are you gonna walk through, right? Um, yeah. And the thing is, the great part is that each door has its own beautiful gifts for you. So when you're ready to change, you're going to walk through one of the doors, right? So, and that's what I picked up on a lot. Okay. So it's about you also having to let go of the old as well, so, because you're transforming, you're changing, right? Just like a tat, like, remember when I talked about the frog, right? How it goes through its, its stages. Well, I didn't talk about the stage part, but how it goes through the stages of different seasons. Same thing with the frog. It started out as a tadpole and then it morphed into, um, you know, uh, a tadpole with freaking legs on them, right? And then all of a sudden it started growing arms and stuff and it became a really full on frog, you know? That's the great part about you guys. You guys are very transformative, very, um, uh, the metamorphosis you know, <laughs> aspect of your mind is beautiful. I really love that about you guys, group four. So, you know, with that, you see the frog on the lily pad. So now look, um, because I'm being guided to actually, because it's talking about you having to heal yourself, right? I she moved this girl here. Oops. All right. So healing, right? Um, the thing about it is that I'm being told that 
it's your turn now to heal, okay? Now it's time for you to pay it forward to yourself, okay? You may be the type that actually always kind of take care of other people and you don't really think about yourself sometimes, but you know what? Now is the time to really think about yourself, all right? You guys may be really good going through a lot of different seasons, right? But that going through it and all of those things and taking the hit all the time will take a toll on your body, all right, group four? So be mindful about that. You have a lot of self-care cards here, you know? And I feel like, um, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of, there's healing and the butterflies and gloom, gloom tells me that too, because it says after sadness, happiness and hope return. You also have the number, the master builder number, number 22. You're here to build something for yourself, right? So if you are here to, um, not if you are because you picked this pile um so with this card it's about seeing that light at the end of the tunnel all right and um you know it's about you having a glimpse of that rainbow right at the end of the tunnel but not it's not like you're so close to that uh tunnel and that rainbow so but at least you know that you're you can see it and if you can see it that means that you can get there all right focus tunnel vision right um tunnel vision yeah yeah, because now I'm thinking tunnel vision. This is you focusing in between all of these things. It doesn't matter who's on the side. You're focusing. You're 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 gonna be focusing and trying to get to that that see that. So yeah, um, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. So what was I holding? Yeah. Okay. So butterfly. Yeah. Okay. Butterflies in gloom. Um, so like I said, it's about that, right? Getting that tunnel vision, being able to see better things for yourself, right? Especially from here on out. So if I were to add this to your landscape, I can see over the horizon, a really big, beautiful sun, okay? It's peeping through the mountains, right? In your landscape, in your mind. It's kind of like a sunrise that just started to peep through a little bit. And as the sun keeps rising, a soft healing frequency starts playing for you guys because you do have this card right here and that's why i had that image of the sun because this is very vibrant right and look at that echoing um listen right number two and then two that's how i was like able to connect the two but it's talking about you know as it rises it really it i feel like there's some beautiful music that gets uh played in your world in your mind right you may resonate with sounds a lot because of this um, but the healing sound frequency, you may like to listen to healing frequencies. Um, and I also just picked up that a lot of you guys have a lot of high pitched sounds that happens in your ear. So, um, from what I remember, okay, I'm being told to actually share this with you. I actually learned it from, oh, I forgot his channel. Uh, I forgot what, I think it was like, He's an artist online. Ugh, if I can remember who it is, I will definitely. But I want to give him credit for that because it's not for me. Um, but he, I, from what I learned from him is that he said that if you hear a high-pitched sound from your right ear and it is a very high, high-pitched sound, then that is a message from your spirit team, right? And if it's a, and that's a yes. And if it's a low tone sound and it's on the right ear, then it's a no from your spirit team. And then on the right side is actually your... Um, your higher self. So if it's a high pitch, your higher self is saying yes. Low pitch, your higher self is saying no. So if I can remember his channel, I will definitely link it down below for you guys. But yeah, so that's what I learned. So maybe I was guided to say that. I don't know why. Maybe you can look into that as well. Um, but to touch base on all the other different seasons too. Um, let me actually put this down. Oh, wow. Okay. <gasps> Okay, Spirit just said, turn it upside down, Chai. Turn it upside down. Doesn't that look like the wolf? <laughs> Guys, look at that. Isn't that insane? I swear to God, like, this is so amazing. I'm really, I'm, you know what? I, in the future, I want to incorporate more ink blots too. This is so insane. I love making these. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Queen Sunbeam Tarot actually taught me how to make these. This is so insane. I love it. So yeah, so winter, okay? So look at that, it looks like the fox, right? That's its nose right there. You see that little dot, the nose, the eyes, the cheeks, right? So take care of your needs. This is what it means. Take care of your needs, okay? You guys are too, uh, you guys, you've, you've been putting your needs at bay for way too long. And this card is saying that, you know, you need to really pick up and really take care of yourself. Look at the tower card. Ah, 
you know, having long nails is not conducive to picking things up, but I really love having them. It's so funny, right? Anyways, so yeah, so basically this tower card is letting me know that maybe you have been overworked, okay? And you, it, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a lot. You guys have been really, what I'm being told is because it says here, unplug and relax for a spell. When you unplug, right? Sometimes because we live in a uh, society right now where the digital world is really booming, right? So maybe taking some time to, well, after you watch uh, my video and Silver uh, Priestess's video, <laughs> don't unplug yet. But unplug when you get a chance, okay? It's very important to stay away from digital things for too long right i mean um to stay away from digital things so uh for a time being so anyway so with this tower card it really talks about you really needing to rest your mind and your eyes too because i did notice the eyes uh the the sad eyes and tired eyes you see the eyes there was another one that i saw yeah look at that Look at the eyes. They're tired. Your eyes are tired. You've been watching a lot of maybe digital screens or something. But anyway, so that's that's a lot of uh, a message for a lot of you guys, I think. But anyway, so with um, the butterflies and glooms eyes and the winter card um, and then. I f oh, yeah. And also the well-being. Right. Look at her eyes. But she's a little more rested, though. Well-being, self-preservation, service to spirit, useful experience. Look at the swans. I don't know, but I've been seeing swans everywhere. So look at the swans. Okay, so um, with this, this card is about, it's a reminder that you, you know, even a person who serves humanity, right, light workers or star seeds, all, uh, you know, people who fall into this category, you guys have this beautiful, special way of helping humanity, but you forget sometimes to really give yourself the same treatment, right? You need to be at your optimum capacity in good health, okay, in order to help others in the right way. And take it from me, I got the big C earlier la la last, what, couple months ago because I was overworked. I think that had I, you know, had I taken better care of myself and really rested and not feel like I always have to do, 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 I think I would have handled it a lot better. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so that's a message from me and from spirit. You guys take the time to rest, okay? as much as you can so now i'm seeing a little more into your summer section too because i see the roses here so to add to your landscape um i do see that there's a beautiful garden right oh yes and a water fountain i see a water fountain you know i i feel like there's tranquility there you know i feel like there's you are able to bring yourself at to ease when it comes to if you take the time you're very good at actually putting your mind to rest if you just allow yourself to rest right so what i i see in your landscape you have a really nice resting area and a hammock i actually just saw that in my mind's eye just now a hammock right and then right next to the hammock there's a bird bath um at the corner there wow this is a beautiful sanctuary space that you guys have created number four that's crazy and i'm able to see that right now just with this card um Wow. Yeah, I would like to have a place like that. Yeah. So what I'm sensing is that you guys really love flowers, right? Uh, flower bushes, roses, uh, hyacinths, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, peonies. You guys really love peonies. Sunflowers are there too. I see that. Um, yeah, so summer. It's almost like that summer breeze that makes you feel really, really loved right? Like almost like the wind just kissing your cheeks. That's the feeling that I get from looking at this card. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. So with that, I feel like it kind of correlates to the listen card here. So you can actually really listen to nature really well. Like when the wind blows, you actually listen to the leaves and the plants, right? And you hear whistling wind racing across and the way that you hear things when hit when the wind hits the objects around it um you get a sense of peacefulness that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing that you guys are you really do you gain that peaceful atmosphere when you listen to nature and that's amazing okay that's a good skill to have 
So to me, I feel like you may have that clear, remember I told you, you guys may have that clear audience um, ability. So this is where you actually hear spirits talking or sometimes you have that ability to, to hear other people's thoughts like telepathy, right? That's a real thing. Uh, it comes sporadically for me and it, I've heard from my friends too, they've had um, instances where they actually heard people's thoughts as well. So that's really insane. Um, magic and you know spiritual gifts are real guys so um what else yeah wow that's insane making choices we talked about that okay so i think i touched base on birth but let's see so because we're talking about so this also this color reminds me of spring as well so when you think about birth uh it talks about that spring sector of your mind right because remember we categorize and landscape your mind as different seasons right you can see the different seasons um kind of like that movie tinkerbell uh right so for me i feel like this is where all the new plants right the new ideas are being seeded right and some uh ideas have already sprouted okay that's what i'm sensing and this is where you actually have your ideas that you actually take those ideas and you plant them into your soil and if i were to actually correspond that idea or what I'm talking about, that picture I just painted for you guys, to your waking life, Spirit is saying that you've already taken some practical steps to see some of those ideas come true. So I'm very proud of you guys. I, I commend you guys for taking those steps, okay? Um, look at that. Wow, so this is your ink blot. And there's another card that I needed to talk about. I think this is the last one, if I can remember correctly, yeah. So Queen of Gabriel, passionate, charming, brilliant, and independent, okay? Queen of Gabriel, so in your mind, your mind's a very resilient one, okay? Group number four, this is the Queen of Gabriel card. So your mind has a major um, major epiphanies, right? Wake up calls that, and that happens quite a lot because you may go through different seasons in your mind, but in those different seasons, you seem to always find what you need in order to progress in life. So you truly are the best um, I would say extractor of living, right? You live and you allow yourself to be in the energy in your mind as in any given point and moment. You don't rush things. Like I said, you dwell in the seasons for a little bit, right? So if you say, for example, if you feel sad today, you acknowledge that you're sad today and maybe tomorrow you encourage yourself, maybe tomorrow it'll be different, right? So that's what I sense. And, and whenever you feel like you're in stagnancy in your mind, you would jolt it awake and find other simulations to revive the energy in your landscape, okay? That's what I sense a lot with you guys. You guys are very, very resilient. It's truly astounding, really, to see such skills in, in you know, just in your painting alone, right? Your your ink blot and this, the different energies that came through in your spread you guys have a lot of flexibility right and remember flexibility is one of the hardest attributes and skills to obtain okay especially as a human being guys it's hard to be flexible sometimes you just want to stick to you just just what you know right but being able to be open-minded and flexible about things and hearing other people's perspectives and you guys are very 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 animated a very um uh, multifaceted because of the different seasons that you have in your head, right? So that's amazing. I got. I, I think you guys are very wise, okay? You guys are very wise. But anyways, okay, my loves, I sure hope you guys enjoy the reading today. I uh, Don't forget, this is a collab video with Heather at Silver Star Priestess's video, um, channel, right? I will link that video down below. She She's going to dive deeper on what your subconscious has to say. So you can click on that link in the description box. Um, it'll take you straight to her video. But before you do, I want to ask you, if you do like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're coming from Heather's uh, channel, thank you so much for coming over. I really appreciate you guys. Um, feel free to check out my channel as well. And then um, come join, you know, our amazing and creative family here where I do interesting and empowering pick a cards for you guys so that you can actually shine your deliciously unique light into the world. It's totally free and it will help my channel to grow as well in order to help as many people as possible. That's my main goal. It's, it's one of my whys, right? That's, I really do this because I really love humanity and on such a different kind of level that my even myself sometimes i surprise myself because i really do care and love you guys okay feel free to like share and comment down below i love interacting with you guys so with that said i'll see you in my next one bye